Hey everyone, Mark Stevenson here from Cold SE. It's been a long time since we've given you guys a look at how to print a t-shirt with the DTG M2. So uh, Heath printed some terrific samples for us over the weekend. I thought I would let you uh, take a look at how you do that. Now, in this case, what you're gonna see on the M2 is you'll notice I've got two platens loaded up. It's gonna print two shirts at the same time, but it's going to print them um, two different designs at the same time as well. So you'll get to see some real variety. Uh, I'm just going to walk over here to the computer screen. We'll kind of zoom in so you can see that. I'll load the t-shirts up and hit print. Then we'll talk about the cost. All right, so the shirts are all loaded up in the M2. And again, we, we've got two black shirts in there. What's going to happen is it's first it's going to print the, uh, the white layer. Uh, and then it's going to move back in to print the color. But uh, I'm going to pop the picture of what I'm looking at on the computer screen up for you for just a second. You can see we've got two different size designs two completely different designs, and also there are two different prices. The Samurai Mask design, which is the more animated one on your right, uh, is 85 cents an ink, and the black and white um, Kendo PSD is uh, gonna be just a little over 40 cents an ink. Now that doesn't include the pre-treat, and that is part of, if you purchase part of our best DTG printer bundle uh, for those ink prices, but you can get an idea of how inexpensive it is to print a shirt with DTG, especially if you're doing one-offs. So I'm just gonna click on here and uh, hit the print button and we're gonna get started. All right, so I've, uh, I've lifted up the camera to give you kind of a, a bird's eye view of what's happening on the inside. And as you can see, it's laying down the white. Now, one of the things that the M2 is famous for is its print quality. Uh, as well as printing on two shirts at the same time. And that all starts if you're uh, printing a dark shirt with that white layer. One really interesting thing about the, uh, the Kendo design with the mask right there is uh, you can kind of see the white mist that's going around the mask right now. Uh, that is part of the graphic. What uh, Heath had to do inside the software was kind of feather the, uh, the image out. It would have been on a, would have printed out as a square um, with color all the way out to the edge, which kind of looks cheap. So what he did was he removed a lot of that and just made it smoke out um, and fade into the shirt. And that's as opposed to this more animated design, the samurai design, where you see nice clean lines because that's exactly where the ink is going. Now we're printing at, uh, at one of the best quality settings here. So uh, this is not designed to be a quick print. Uh, it's going along at a good pace, uh, but you could print a little bit faster if you were willing to sacrifice just a little bit of the look. All right, as you can see, the color layer is just about done printing. And we're gonna zoom in and take a closer look so you can really see the quality and the brightness of that print. Look at that. That's terrific. There you go, it's all done. I am just gonna go around and hold these up so you guys can get a closer look. Okay, here we go. This one I think is my favorite. Um, look at the size of that print, first of all. And I'm just gonna give you a nice close up of what it looks like. Still gotta be cured, but that's an indication of how it's gonna look. And now let's take a look at the next one. And this just looks great. All right, that is a quick demonstration of the DTG M2. You've seen what it can do. If you're interested in learning more, just head over to DTGPrinterMachine.com or Coldesi.com. There should be a link 